Something really unexpected has happened this week. I'm always looking at horses and I'm in all these groups where they post horses for sale and things like that, but I'm never like serious about buying a horse. So this week I just so happened to be like scrolling through one of the horse groups I was in and I saw this little yearling for sale, a yearling colt. And usually how it goes is I'll show a horse to Colin and I'm like, what do you think about this horse? And then we usually decide like, okay, you know, it's not the time to get a horse. With this one, I showed it to Colin and we talked back and forth and for whatever reason, both of us we're just excited. I'm going to go see him today. We are taking the trailer because it's about a two to three hour drive, just depending on if we hit traffic or not. So I have been organizing the farm and just trying to figure out my situation with Yoshi and Tucker. With longer trailer rides, it, it's a good idea to quarantine after them just because horses can actually get pneumonia if they're traveling in a trailer too long. There's just some dynamics between Tucker and Yoshi that I just feel it would be best to separate them. <laughs> I think because Yoshi is blind and he has some physical disabilities, he does not like interacting with Tucker at all. And Tucker is a very friendly, playful horse and Tucker will want to groom him and play and Yoshi just wants nothing to do with it. We're gonna get him like a sheep or something, just a really gentle, sweet companion animal. Y'all believe it or not, but Colin has really gotten into horses lately <laughs> and he's been saying that he wants his own horse. And so I told him this little guy could be quotations his horse so what do you think about that Colin? i like tucker but you had tucker before i even met you and so i kind of missed out on the process of getting him and you refused to let me ride tucker well that's because he's 13 hands i think the new guy will when he's fully grown will be big enough that i could actually ride him also maybe doing some groundwork and whatnot <laughs> with a horse that isn't already like very experienced what about teaching him archery way down the line mounted archery would be really cool we have been driving for so long <laughs> I'm ready to be done, but luckily we are almost here and we're about to pull into the stable and see this little guy. So at this point, y'all, I knew I sounded optimistic, but I'm saying he better be worth this trip. All right, guys, look. Hi, sweetie. Hey, little boy. Hi. Hi, baby boy. You're sweet. I like that blue on you. He's already attached to you. <laughs> We're currently taking a little bit of a break. We're letting Pony rest his legs just because we've been on the road for like an hour and a half maybe now. I was kind of surprised when I saw him. I think he may be younger than a year. He just seems kind of like awkward and lanky. He's also way more draft than I initially thought he was gonna be. So he was um, posted at the Morgan Percheron Cross, but in his pictures, he looked pretty just like narrow. So I'm like, I don't see how he's a draft. But then upon actually seeing him in person, I was like, okay, this pony has some draft in him. I think they're almost here. So I'm gonna go outside, turn some lights on and see if we can see the new guy. Oh, he's breathing so hard. Yeah, let's get him out. Give me, buddy. It's okay, come here. Okay, oh, no, no. All right, all right, now go. Pull it up. Uh-huh, watch your shoulder. Good boy. It's all right. All right, someone get the gate quick. So we made it back probably at 9 p.m. last night and got him offloaded and he was super calm. We just got off the trailer and then we put him out in his little field and he just went to eating. He didn't really care about the other horses or anything. I could hear Tucker running around some during the night. I'm gonna go out and check on the pony now. Hi, bud. He's all worked up. Thank you for running treat. Oh, good morning, Yosh. Good morning, Gollum. Oh, it's a little pony. So when I came down here, he was just really pushy and wanted to be all up with me. So I got my flag here. And now he's respecting me a little bit. I just didn't want him like crowding me and running me over. But thank you. Manners. I'll pet you. Thank you, you have manners. He does just melt when you pet him though. He's right back there. You can see the other horses from back there. And so he's been staying with his butt on that gate. I don't really want to go in there with him yet, but maybe I can just see if he'll come this way without running me over. Come here. 
I had to kind of get after him with the flag, so I think now he's a little standoffish. Here he comes. Hello. I'm gonna ask you to step right there with my flag. Yeah. Watch out, Gollum. <laughs> Yeah, and I think he's just anxious too. Like, he's not down here with other horses. He's a baby. So we gotta go to church, and just to keep him entertained, I made him his Kong toy and I put some treats in it, just so he doesn't get bored. I don't think he really knows what treats are. Here, look, smell it. Smell it. It's like he smells, it's a, it smells good, but I don't know what to do with it. So I've just been doing just little tiny sessions addressing some of the problems he's having, like manners, having him back up and stuff, and just spending time brushing him and petting him here. I don't think he likes the flies, I know. His feet are really long, so I really just want to get working on picking up his feet. I'll show you. So I don't know if you can see too well, but they're just starting to kind of like flare out. Our fair is actually coming in a few days and I doubt that he'll be able to do them then, but I need to start working on it so that he can get them done as soon as possible. Hey. Don't bite me. There you go, that's good. I don't know if y'all can see that, but he just shifted his weight slightly. He didn't pick up that foot, but he shifted his weight. So I'm gonna reward him and let him move up. Okay, try again. I just kind of like tickle his legs so he knows what I want. There. Uh, uh, uh. No. You don't put your head over me. There you go. He's still organizing himself. You got it. Come on. Good. Good. We haven't really caught it on camera, but he is very pushy. He'll just put his head up and kind of like walk towards you with his chest. So I just have my flag to ask him to back up. And he's gotten a lot better with that just already. And he just kind of gets pushy, like when he's away from the other horses, which is normal and it's his first day. So, you know, we're just teaching some manners. The good thing is like, once you correct him a few times then he's like, okay, since he is young, you know, I've been doing, I've probably done like four 10 minute sessions today of me just, number one, teaching him to get out of my way and then number two, picking up his feet. And I know it's the first day, but it's like, let's establish this now. And he seems pretty relaxed enough to deal with it. It is 6 a.m. and we have had this pony officially a day yesterday. Um, I'm gonna prepare the other horse's feet and just check on the boy since I probably won't see him during the day today. The plan for today is when I get home, we want to go ahead and stick him in a small little pen beside the other two horses so that they can see him and smell him and just get to know him. We actually had him bust through a gate yesterday, not this one, thank the Lord, but another one just to one of the smaller fields. So for now, we just put a T-post in front of this gate so we can't push it open. We just wanna be careful because if he gets through this gate, he'll, he can get out to the road. Hey, Pony. You have a good night? Oh. He is very friendly. He just seems like he came from the Amish, like there's specific characteristics that you usually find in Amish horses, just especially like with young ones. Like, he's just very docile and calm. I haven't seen anything really startle him. And I just think like the environment that they're in with the Amish, they turn tend to turn out like that. And so, oh, we don't want to get you pooping on camera. Right there, he was trying to 
kind of get his head over me. And so I'm just leaving my arm up here to block him. Good boy. Good boy. I'm home from work. Um, it has been almost 48 hours since um, we brought the little pony home. I had him quarantined just because we had a long trailer ride, wanted to make sure he was okay. No runny nose, no fever or anything. Um, so I am going to go ahead and put him on a shared fence line. Everyone will be separated just because I don't want Yoshi to get run over if things get a little exciting. But I'm just going to give them time to get to know each other. This pony is a very chill dude. He's not too bothered by much. I think he'll be excited for maybe a few minutes by Tucker and then he'll just calm down. Okay, I'm wearing a dress to do chores today because it's so hot. I also need to deworm the little guy. He wants a treat. Well, <laughs> he's going to get one. You're gonna get one, right? Here, let's go. Put this in your mouth. You ain't gonna like it, probably. It's okay. Y'all are probably like, put a halter on. Don't be stupid. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. How did I know that was gonna be so easy? So I'm gonna put the pony in this small little pen and he'll have a run in and everything. He's gonna go here. Yoshi's gonna go in the back right here. So he'll share one fence line. And then where Yoshi is right now, I'm gonna put Tucker, and that way they're all kind of sharing a fence line. This halter sometimes almost doesn't fit you. All right, I'm gonna put him in his new little pen and then bring Yoshi in right this way. This is the gate he busted when he first came in, so we had to tie it with a lead rope. So I have his hay, just because he'll probably eat this grass down pretty fast and then I have his water and he'll just be in here for you know about 24 hours maybe so we're just going to introduce him to Yosh first just so we don't overwhelm him and Yoshi's pretty easy going so he's not going to start anything stupid come meet your friend look right there like that horse just wants to eat. He's looking at him. <gasps> Look, Yosh. <laughs> you can't put his nose up that high. Oh. <laughs> I've never seen two horses like care less like when this horse got here, he was just like, okay. Same thing with Yoshi. That was all of two seconds and now Yoshi's walking away. I haven't seen this horse like play at all. He's young, you think he would run around out of his own volition, let off some steam, but he hasn't. I don't know if it's because of the situation he came from where it was like he just was expected to act like a bigger horse, but I really haven't seen him be goofy or play or do any baby things. So I'm just excited, maybe when he meets Tucker, like Tucker will bring that out of him a little bit and he can have some fun and be a baby. I know for a fact that Tucker will not be as calm as Yoshi just was. Tucker was gelded late and so when it comes to meeting new horses, he starts acting like a stud and he just gets kind of prancy and snorty and annoying. And so we're just gonna get it over with and bring him down. And I'm gonna put him on that other side of that fence um, so him and the horse can sniff over the fence. You are gonna love him. Can I put this on you? Go around. Come on, don't hit Yosh. Oh, he's clacking. Oh. It's like a submission. Hey! That was good. You gotta be gentle, Tuck. <laughs> Buddy, you're doing well. You're doing well. So I'll come back down to feed for the night and check on everyone. Everything's still pretty quiet. Tucker is being just kind of aggressive still, like over the fence. I mean, it's nothing like it was. I came down maybe an hour ago because my mom came to just see how the little guy was doing. The little guy just doesn't really want 
anything to do with Tucker, and I think that's making Tucker mad. The little guy wants to spend his time with Yoshi. There you go, Yosh. For this little guy, I just gave him like a scoop of the feed through fly control and just a little bit of the senior grain that Yoshi gets. And then I'll get him started on something um, once the vet comes and looks at him and kind of can give me some advice. Hi buddy, I know, a new horse, it's stressful, you gotta be the boss. I think I'm gonna head up for the night. All right, hey, it's time to check on everyone and see how they all fared. So Tucker was being really aggressive last night to Little pony boy. Um, I don't know why. I've never seen him like that before. I don't know if it's because little pony is still a stallion, even though he's not mature yet, if you know what I mean. I just took Yoshi out to feed him and he was not happy about that. And actually, there was Tucker. Tucker went over there. And I'm like, now is the perfect time for y'all to get to like each other. Because I think Yoshi may have been the contention where Tucker was like, Yoshi's mine. Okay, so here's the new setup. Yoshi's out front. I have blocked him off, there's his water, to getting back here. He's back here, his little pony, and Tucker is over there, but he's just in the running over here. So, this should force the pony and Tucker to hopefully befriend each other for company. So that is our new horse, and be sure to stay tuned, because in the next video, we should have a name for him by then, and we'll also see how he does when he is actually put out with Tucker. So I'm just gonna give them a little bit more time to get to know each other over the fence, and once it's at a place where I think, okay, now I can let him out, then I'll go ahead and do that. So stay tuned for that, but if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.